Hello physical fiends, it's Jordan here with another worth the purchase where I play a game for a short amount of time to see if I would buy it myself. Today I'm taking a look at Gundam Breaker 4. I'm playing the PS5 version for this video. This is releasing digitally and physically today. At least in some regions, it's a little complicated since it's Bandai and they can't make their physical releases simple. So stay tuned for the breakdown later in the video. It won't be long, it's just a quick one because I don't have a whole lot to say about this game. Probably because I'm mostly an outsider to both mech and anime as a whole. The only Gundam stuff I've played is Super Robot Wars, because I'm so classy, and SD Gundam Battle Alliance, which was an import exclusive and a pretty decent action game. And actually, maybe very unsurprisingly, Gundam Breaker 4 plays very similarly. It's an action game about not thinking so much and just kicking some backside in a big metal suit. It's a very cathartic game, a bit like Dynasty Warriors, just somehow more nerdy and quite badass at the same time. I don't know how they manage it. There is a story mode that is very beginner friendly. So much so that they decide to introduce the gamer to the concept of clans. Whoa, is this 2005? What about introducing Gundams? I don't know anything about that. Anyways, it's a fun enough story, pretty light-hearted and friendly. I don't know what the tone these series go for. Are they happy-go-lucky shonen or edgelord material? I don't know, but this seems to be the former. But you are more interested in the gameplay. You play story missions which essentially revolve around just destroying other mechs. You have many, many different attacks at your disposal. You have equipment on both arms which are initiated independently with the square and triangle button respectively. A bit of left, a bit of right, good night. You then have different gun turrets mapped to the shoulder buttons and then up to 8 special attacks or special abilities equipped at once which have different button combos. While the moment to moment gameplay and scenarios is very basic, at least so far in what I've played a couple of hours, the depth really is in the customization. Gundam Breaker 4 is all about the customization. It's a Gundam nerd's absolute dream. If you keep up good combos against the enemies, you gain an increasing chance to earn equipment after defeating them. And then back at home, you can go to town on equipping so many different parts interchangeably. So you can have a right arm from one famous Gundam and then a left arm from another. They don't need to match. Same with legs, torso, your head, your backpack. You can create something wonderful or monstrous. Each part has their own stats as well, but they are upgradable, so I do believe anything can work at the end. You're not guided into using the ones that the game wants you to. It makes it truly customizable. You can change the color scheme, have things metallic, change how much wear and tear they have. You can change the glow they make when they're doing something badass. Obviously, I have no idea what I'm doing, so I decided to create something truly unmarketable. You could not sell this in a shop, and my only main goal was that I should pick the body part that had the biggest cod piece because I know how to intimidate the enemy. There must be millions of combinations of body parts, of weapons and rarity colors, which is great since this game does have an online function, so you can really stand out like the uncreative git that you are. That is where the big excitement and the biggest selling point of the game is. I like, don't get me wrong, the moment to moment gameplay is fun enough, especially against big bosses, but most people will be buying this to create the badass Gundam of their dreams. Do not go in expecting quality AAA gameplay, but expect to make fun Gundams and putting them in like test arenas smacking others around. So the physical release, well Europe I am sorry, Bandai flipped the coin and you lost on this one. There is no European physical release for this game. However, North America is getting a physical on Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 5. As I said, I'm playing the PS5 version and it plays very well, smooth, etc. Can't speak for the Switch version. If you want to purchase these North American versions physically, then consider using the links down below in the description and the pinned comment. That really helps me out. For Europeans, it's a great way to grab this North American version if you're wanting it physically because they have free worldwide shipping if you purchase anything over 80 Canadian dollars. That's about 60 American dollars. So it's very close to that threshold. If you add something, anything cheap to it, you will get it shipped for free. So Europeans, you can get your hands on it pretty easy if you follow the links in the description. But hold the phone because I know some of you are still rocking that hardy little PS4 and there is 
a PlayStation 4 physical edition, and it's releasing in Japan. And it does have English. It's also cheaper than the Western version, thanks to economic stuff that is way above my pay grade. So if you want this PlayStation 4 import exclusive, check the Play Asia links down in the description and pinned comment. That also massively helps support me. And with Play Asia, like only Play Asia, you can get 5% off with the code Jordan24. That makes it even cheaper. Would I buy this myself? Uh, probably not. Not at this time. This is a personal thing because I have no attachment to the franchise whatsoever and others who do love Gundam will probably be eating this for breakfast. In fact, I'm pretty sure some of you bought it from the Australian digital stores so you could play it at the earliest possible moment. But me, I like the gameplay, don't get me wrong, it's fun enough, there's nothing wrong with it, but I think it's a bit too expensive for me right now. I would not buy this at full price, despite kind of enjoying it. The budget in this game doesn't match the asking price in my opinion. But if you're a fan, I think you'll really enjoy this as long as you don't expect something too in-depth and you really like the customization aspect. What do you think? Will you be buying this one? Let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to purchase a copy and you want to support me, check the links down below in the description and pinned comment. I greatly appreciate any support you can give and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Take care.